Here is what Apple really means when it says shot on iPhone. I think they forgot to add a very large asterisk right at the end. The good people of the world just had Apple's Scary Fest event, announcing the new M3 chip, but that was the least interesting part of the presentation. The clincher came right at the end in very small writing. Shot on iPhone, edited on Mac. And let's all admit the footage looked damn good. It was right on the money. And Jokes aside about the 8 gigs of RAM for M3 Pro models in 2023, according to that little note and now a released behind the scenes video, Apple's event was filmed on an iPhone 15 Pro. Let that sink in. But with the help of professional studio equipment costing hundreds of thousands of dollars. And let's not forget about all the talent involved in making that happen because that's even more. Well, I do hope they pay their people more. Here is what we know. They, as an Apple, really did shoot the footage using an iPhone 15 Pro Max. In fact, you can see the iPhone on the dollies, the rigs, the drones, and the robot arms that are the size of my mortgage. For example, that bolt arm costs around 68,000 freedom dollars, which, you know what? It's chump change for a $2 trillion company. In saying that, the equipment showcased in the Scary Fest behind the scenes footage is typical for a large studio production. But Apple's message in their shot on iPhone promotion suggests that everyone can achieve that level of quality simply by purchasing the latest iPhone. Which is technically achievable because you can purchase that iPhone, but technically not achievable because you don't have the backing of a studio and multi-talented team. However, most recently, a music video by Olivia Rodrigo proves otherwise. In fact, this isn't really the first time shot on iPhone has been seen in the wild, though at first for Apple to use it in their own video. I guess it's the typical, let everybody use it first and then we'll use it later, just like the USB-C plug that makes it all possible. More on that in a second. Last year, we saw the Vishal Bachwuj for Sat shot on the iPhone 14. That was a very interesting 30 minute short film. Then two years ago again, a couple of showcase videos around the iPhone 12, all touting that hashtag shot on iPhone. But in all these examples, it was done by hand. There was no extreme equipment. And that's what made that actually interesting and exciting because it was shot on an iPhone not an iPhone being held by thousands of dollars of equipment. Now back to the spook fest. Let's look behind the behind the scenes video because it seems to me that the only reason this video was possible in the first place was because they have USB-C finally in an iPhone. The iPhone USB-C port enables the ability to write to very fast SSDs as you record, meaning ProRes footage can be saved over a long period of time while also charging the phone. And I guess the other question we have to ask, which we don't really have an answer is, was there any software or firmware modifications to make this process possible? Looking at the video, the camera app was very informational and definitely not the stock camera app. And I would imagine it might not necessarily even be one that is developed and sold on the app store. It enabled connectivity with external controllers and a lot of other systems to view the footage live, change all the settings and I mean, look at today's top tier film cameras. The amount of connection settings, buttons, knobs they have are insurmountable. But not only that, think of all the settings that need to be adjusted based on lighting conditions, focal lengths, shutter speeds. And yes, you can adjust all that, but was it controlled via the touch screen? I don't think so. I think something was plugged in to that USB-C hub that was probably connected to the iPhone because you can only see one cable coming out. So according to Apple, Yes, technically speaking, it was shot on an iPhone and again, supported by a $2 trillion company. So is this the future? Unlikely, the camera lens mafia wouldn't let Apple have it, but it could be. Just look at how accessible filmmaking has become over the last decade. This could just be the next evolution. Imagine if they started excelling accessories to the iPhone to connect it to all these other systems. Does it already exist? Maybe there'll be a iPhone Pro filmmaking version. You never know if it can be monetized. I'm sure Apple can figure it out. In all seriousness, it is impressive, but 
unrealistic to anyone but Apple with their budget to build all the systems around that phone to enable that capability. It's like building a supercar around a particular design of already existing out on the market headlights and you spend all that R&D just to make those headlights fit. It seems weird, right? So yes, there is a reason the event footage looked as good as it did, and that's likely down to the fancy equipment alongside the iPhone 15 Pro Max. With the aid of a full suite of professional recording equipment, professionals with skills unimaginable, and perfect studio lighting, yes, <laughs> it's all possible. Um, but all that is required to make the iPhone footage look great. And then of course, all the work after the grading and all that, still needs to be done by professionals. Now, Apple has utilized similar but far less extreme setups for previous events that were filmed using iPhone, including the Burberry Summer 2014 fashion show. Came out pretty nicely, to be honest, and this clever approach highlights the impressive recording quality of iPhone cameras, but will it actually increase iPhone sales because that's the problem right now for Apple? I don't think so, I really don't, because it's still a ridiculously expensive phone.